Hi guys, um, this is Hector. Today is the 13th of uh, June 2007. It's uh, 10 a.m. London time, and I've uh, just triggered a long entry on um, on the um, uh, Swissy about uh, a couple of minutes ago, three minutes ago. Um, I triggered it it's just as made uh, as so we made a new high for the die. Um, this is a London open breakout type of trade. Uh, um, I'm trading the breakout of the overnight range, which is this area right here. Okay, uh, moving sideways. But uh, let me zoom into the one hour time frame for, for a clear view. Right? Uh, this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a few dies of, of uh, a fairly uh, stable up move. Okay. Uh, this is um, one day's price action, uh, next day, next day, and this is today's price action. All right. So basically, what I'm seeing is um, uh, higher lows and higher highs. Uh, staircase formation. You've probably heard me talking about the staircase formation many times already. Um, you see this uh, new. Uh, uh, highs uh, being uh, made, okay, and how uh, well we just keep climbing and climbing up, okay. Um, also, the uh, well, the moving averages are, are pointing up, which is all uh, always nice, all right. Um, but uh, basically, what I've, I've based my trade on is is the breakout of the uh, of the uh, overnight uh, of the overnight range right there, okay. Um, this is what's been going on during the Tokyo session right now, okay? Um, price uh, moved sideways, down, up, down, up, down, and finally broke above uh, this, uh, uh, well, uh, this uh, top right here, this range top. Breakout, pullback, continuation, we made new highs, and I triggered my long entry right there. Um, um, I'll, I'll, I'll say that again. Uh, price uh, meanders uh, throughout the Tokyo session as usual. Very quiet uh, market, and uh, as London opens right there, about right there. Okay, yeah, uh, we see um, uh, the London volume. Okay, the London activity uh, begin to roll into the market. Okay, we are seeing uh, an initial uh, thrust to the upside, breaking um, the, the uh, highs. Um, Achieved previously by the Tokyo session, okay, right here. So we have that up thrust, then we have the retrace back to former, uh, uh, retrace back here to former uh, resistance levels, okay, there and there. Uh, at this time, it works as, um, as uh, support, and from there, it takes off uh, uh, in the direction of the main trend as seen in the hourly chart making new highs and I trigger my uh, long entry. So basically what I'm, I'm betting here is for another another die of uh, bulls uh, dominance, okay, of, 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 of bulls uh, being the, uh, the, uh, uh, the main uh, drivers for this, uh, oops, for this uh, market, okay, as, as seen, uh, you know, throughout the whole week, okay, as, as I am marking today, uh, right, I mean, right now in the uh, uh, the different days price action we are seeing uh, definitely an, an up momentum okay and uh, well um, breaking the uh, the overnight session uh, to the upside makes me believe that today is also going to be uh, a bulls territory okay it's going to be uh, uh, dominated by the bulls uh, over the bears all right so basically I'm, 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 I'm betting for for uh, for basically an, an, an ab move to die. Um, uh, entry level uh, 124.59, right there. Sub plus 124.35, final target 124.95, just a few pips below the 125.00 round number. Okay? Um, always, I, I, I do believe round numbers to work as psychological support or resistance. That's why I always always like to place my my um, my targets and my stop losses a uh, few pips uh, below or above depending on the direction of my trade uh, below or above those around numbers okay um, what else um, oh, well not much to say really um, I'll pause the video now I'll, I'll keep you guys updated all right bye bye
Hi guys, it's Hector again. Uh, just a quick update to let you know that I've uh, manually closed uh, my position on the uh, uh, Swiss franc um, at minus 11 pips. Um, for two reasons, uh, we have the uh, uh, news coming from America in about 20, uh, 22 minutes. Um, uh, so, well, you know, I, I don't want to risk, uh, you never know what, what, what the news might, might bring, okay, might, might perfectly shoot in my, in my direction or, 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 or into the hand just plummet it down 40 pips against me. I, I don't want to risk that. Um, and, and second, I'm just not seeing the momentum really. I mean, it's, um, it's uh, 10 past 2 p.m. Uh, uh, here in Europe and, um, uh, we've already gone through uh, most of the London session. Uh, we, we only have about 50 pips uh, uh, average uh, 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 daily range for today. Um, it's uh, this thing is just way too slow. I'm, I'm not seeing the momentum. It, it seemed like it was taking off in my direction fairly nicely. I was about uh, 10, 12 pips in profits. Then it came back down. Um, for the time of the day, I mean. Um, American uh, market, the uh, New York market is about to open as well, and uh, I, I'm just not seeing the momentum. This is this is way too slow. Um, so uh, uh, not, not not much to say really. I mean, it's like I said, it's uh, it's the news are coming soon. Um, I'm just not seeing the uh, the uh, speed on this on this stride, the the speed I'd like to see. So. You know, minus 11 pips is not really that bad. Um, I can definitely take a minus 11 pips uh, loss. I know I will. I will make it up uh, in the next right. Uh, so um, I'm bail I've ba bailed out of, of this thing, and well, I will. I will reload again and, and search for new opportunities. All right? Okay, guys, that was all. Bye bye.